What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemang Ali, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast and the movement around the world that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, dealing with cancer. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. With the permission of one of my good friends and a client who's been struggling and battling cancer and overcame it, his wife now has cancer. And we had a very powerful conversation the other day in one of our calls, and I asked his permission if I could share it, and he said, of course, because it's always about empowering others and being a a beacon of light and an example. So we get on the phone call, and we start to go over what we had agreed upon that he would do and fulfill on, and we start to talk about just certain principles and insights that would help him to live powerfully in his life. And then he says, look, I got I to gotta share something with you. And then he shared that his wife has a cancer, and it really rocked his world. And I just listened. I just listened to my brother, my client, who I call my brother, share his frustration and part of what he was experiencing, and I get it. All I can do is listen and understand and strive to understand what it would be like if my wife came down with cancer, something that could potentially take her life sooner than maybe when, than if she didn't have cancer. As I listened to my brother, I, I thought, what, what can I really share? And we sat there and there was silence. And then I asked, well, can I, can I give you some insight on, on how to deal with this. He said, yeah, you see, I want you to know some powerful people, they deal with what's in front of them. They deal with and they confront what's really going on. So, we started to talk. And the conversation was really simple. I said, how must you handle this so that you come out of the other side empowered and not a victim? And he began to talk to me and share with me that he needed to see the gifts and the lessons and that he would go with his wife to every doctor's appointment, that he would be by her side, that he would take the focus off of him and put it on his wife. As we talked, my heart was touched. Here while I was listening to a man create the possibility of what he wanted to have for his marriage, for his life, regardless of circumstance. You see, victims, they simply react to circumstances and situations. Can't make payroll, people are, you got to hire and fire people. Employees aren't showing up, the deal fell through. The broker changed the mind, someone didn't show up today. Car got a flat tire, hurt your leg, broke your arm. I mean, whatever's going on, victims just kind of respond and react to it. Like, well, victims do. Disempowered, undistinguished, their language reveals weakness, a lack of clarity, and a lack of certainty. Powerful people, they do what my brother did, what my client did. They declare who it is they're going to be and what it is that they're going to do. That's what powerful people do. They declare who it is that they're going to be and what it is that they're going to do in that situation and regardless of the situation. I couldn't help but listen to my brother talk about how much he loved his wife and how much he cares for her. And I asked him, whoa, what would be the way that you could behave and act so that she could draw strength? And he went on to say, I've got to be steadfast and certain. And I've got to really dig deep and be faithful in this thing. Now, I don't know what cancer is like, but I do know what adversity is like. And cancer, like any type of adversity, it gets to you and it begins to beat you down. Not for the purpose of beating you down. That's just what these things do. Right? They have a role to fill. Cancer has a job to do. Opposition has a job to do. 
question is, can you embrace it? Can you be the person who would respond and act accordingly based upon the outcomes that you want? If you want a powerful life, then you know that adversity, cancer, death, sickness, financial turmoil, it's all inevitable. The real question is, how do you plan to deal with it? How do you deal with it? How would you deal with the things going on in your life today? You can deal with it in one of two ways. Number one, from a very weak foundation of who you believe yourself to be. That you are not at choice. That you are a victim. And well, hopefully and like you know, wishful thinking, it will just somehow magically work out. Or you can take it on as my brother and my client did. Who would I have to be to handle this in a way that would allow me and my spouse to come out on the other side in full power as beacons of light as an example brothers and sisters my message for you is this you're going to face adversity you just will it's inevitable and as my client said I want to come out of this on the other side he already assumes he's coming out of this him and his wife and then he declares empowered distinguished as an example, closer to God, discovering those divine gifts. Brothers and sisters, can you ask the same questions? It may not be cancer, but know this. When you face those adversities, trials, opposition, resistance, struggles, and challenges, when you face those things, ask the questions that would empower you. I invite you to take a step back And look at your life today, right now. What questions could you ask that would give you more power? Who would you have to become with your spouse, your children, your employees? To be able to be a beacon of light. To empower them. To help them see the divine gifts of the opposition that they face. Because it's one thing to survive and to get through it. It's another thing to thrive and, and to endure well. Your boy Satamangala reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promise, lines, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. Would you join us? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.